Hi folks and welcome to another Mac Tactics Tactics video from me, Tactical Mac 7 on YouTube. This time we're looking at the Ultra Defensive 4333. Uh, this is the Ultra Defensive version in it. I like it because it's got the two CDMs in the centre mid, so we're nice and compact in the midfield. We've got our wing two wingers and our striker who we play kind of similar to what we did with the the standard one. Um, we're, we're trying to bring them back into like a four kind of thing. Um, slightly different though. Well, actually, it is kind of like that, but we bring both of them back because it's uh, the ultra-defensive version. Um, and we're really looking for this one to be playing against really good players that we need to uh, compress in the middle of the park or if we're one or two goals up. So what I try to do with the, the gameplay on this one is I try to go into games um, and get a goal ahead or get two goals ahead and switch into this and show you that the... The, the times that players were needing to score goals against me, so they were changing. And uh, there's three games, I think it is, maybe four. Uh, the last one I'll put in is the most important one because it's a, a good player who completely changes their tactical formation and, and tactics to play against me in a high-press, um, need a goal formation. It goes 4-2-4. Uh, and you'll see me struggle a bit, if I'm honest, um, to defend. But the way the tactics set up, it just it makes it easy for me. It's like the 5-2-2-1. Um, it's that kind of same idea that we're looking to hit them quickly on the counter um and um damage where we can and really play simply we're looking to defend well and then score on the counter and that's that's what this was about um not the most fun formation for people to play against uh but it, we do what we need to win in champs don't we so uh let's get into gameplay and i'll let you see how the team plays okay into the gameplay for the four three 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 there we go um, so, uh, like, I started this game in the, I can't remember what formation I started in, just to get the goal ahead. Um, got a nice and early goal, so it meant I could go into this formation. And I'm going to start showing you the passing angles uh, you have with it. Um, so, we'll start the, the play here. We're in the right formation, so we'll just show you. Our left back is, is wandered upfield, because he's a bit more attacking. Our back three are here, so this is kind of our back four. Big arc. Our middle three are, of course, here. Um... Right, mid, centre, and right wing's down here somewhere. Can't see one pitch, but you see it, it sets up when you've got the ball. You're very, you're quite narrow. Not to say very narrow, but your midfield is nice and narrow, um, and your front three uh, have a bit of space between them so that they they spread the opposition defence. That's what we're trying to do. Uh, try to make room for us should we win the ball nice and early. So I'm trying to show you the different passing angles and different uh, passing areas that we have. We were going to find space. We got a nice wee overlap there from Lo Celso. Um, we do a wee jink. We come back to Fernan. Uh, we're just watching. Look at his his team. And that's, that is a nice pass. We're just a wee bit late with it. Um, I'll show you again. I'll try and stop you when stop hit. Uh, when, he makes, when I should have made the pass. Right, so here, about there, I should have been trying to make the pass. And you can see that I'm still running. I haven't made the pass yet. I make the pass and he's gone offside. So that's that's just me. Um, but you see the gap that Mbappe's moved into. And that's why I keep talking about the AI and why the AI seems to have changed significantly since Fati started. Um, there definitely seems to be a, a difference in how players are moving, um, how players are performing to their positions. Not all players, but some of the players are definitely tweaked. Um, so once they've got the ball, uh, our team will drop back into this form, this. Formation. You can see Kondongbe is a little bit high. Uh, Lo Celso's kind of dropped weirdly inverted back there. So he sh he's because he's the cam, he should uh, because he's a centre mid, you expect him to be a bit higher apart. But for some reason, the CDM should sit ever so slightly higher. Very strange. But you'll see them drop back now. Um, and now we push forward, and you see Lo Celso going into that more advanced position. He moves back and forward. He's one of the players I'm talking about. Um, his AI seems to be doing different things. Um, not sure why. I know there's a whole lot of, of theories about uh, beta testing some of the new features for FC25 and things like that. I just don't know. Um, I can only play with what I know. Uh, nice wee ball through to Alvarez and you can see how narrow Alvarez has become and so we've got in this uh, front two. This time I make the ball. The, you can see the, what I talk about all the time is this run that players want you want players to make between your centre back and the uh, full back. Uh, a lovely channel to pass into. And we can get the goal. Um super easy once you get that it's, it is easy the the formations worked exactly how we want it to work um so we're two nil up in this one um just scored uh so he will go a bit more attacking now so we drop back into the the 433 ultra defensive 
We get a free kick. And we're just taking our time. We're not in any rush. Uh, and that's the big thing about this formation. We aren't in a rush. We've got plenty time to play. We are winning. All we've got to do is pick our passes, stay nice and calm, and just play through the gaps that they leave. Big gap in the middle there. I can play the ball through to Mbappe, who has again made that great run. I could have just dived forward, but I want to show you guys more of the the tactic. So I'm just kind of keeping the ball. At times I'll give the ball away so you can see me defending as well. I see. Like I didn't accidentally give the ball away. So give the ball away so you can see me defending. <laughs> so you see how quickly the team get back into shape. Um, to try and cover any attacking gaps we have. You see how narrow it is. Yes, he's in the box, but boom, we have our fullback coming across and blocking a shot. We then have two options in the box. We can go outside the box. So Celso's dropped a bit deep. Um, that was a pure pass from me. But yeah, just purely so you can see me getting attacked again. Yeah, and see how narrow we are. Navas again getting in the right position. And that's all we're looking for. We're looking to intercept passes and we're looking to close down the passing angles. We have a big switch on. We have another big switch on into space. We can drive forward. We've got a couple of options, but I'll just show you again. We've got another big switch on. That's why Fernand's on stay wide. Drive to the byline, cut across. We don't score this time, but we've made good inroads and a couple of passes we've got from back to front. There, he he's, does that well. I mean, I, I personally think that's lucky. Played and pass on the ground. Um, just as I've drawn someone out of position. Um, so we're just trying to shepherd him and stop the pass. We don't, but again, we've got a defender who's nice and deep on the pitch to get in the way. And he ends up taking a big long shot. And if someone's taking cracks from out there, I'm more than happy. Unless they're like a pro player, they're not going to hit me with Travellas or big green time finesses. So I'm not really that worried. Lo Celso picks the ball up in midfield. He's got options. We go all the way out to Navas, who we allow to be a little bit more roaming. Um, Mbappe. Lovely we threw ball to Alvarez, but offside. I'm not sure if it was offside, but I'll trust EA. <laughs> so here we're just again we're back in shape we're more in a four at the back you can see a uh, four in the midfield um even a five because everyone's dropping back uh we're just covering uh the run by um uh, by some maximum here i was just trying to find the angle that I could get through to mbappe now i'm one on one flick up drill it across goal i think the keeper should be doing better with that one but the ironic thing is i don't even mean to flick it up didn't even mean it. The ones I'd done it, I felt like I was committed. So, uh, into the last game. Is this the last game? Yeah, we're 1 0 up. Miss a header from the corner. We're trying a new corner thing there. Seemed to work all right. Um, 1 0 up, and we've gone into defence. And I did this because I felt this guy was. was eh, wasn't the, it's not the best player, but he is. Um, he was attacking me, and I felt like if you're attacking me, I'm going to have to drop into. Also defensive, just making sure I'm also defensive there. Uh, so Laporte stepping out really well, picking up the ball, Fernand cutting inside, but he read me, and that's what I mean. He was just he was reading me well, so I felt like yeah, let's go in this. I think it's a big game for it. Lovely ball by Pedri in there inside. This first time, tiki taka passing styles are great. Again, Lo Celso lays it off to Alvarez. Keeper makes a good save. Get the ball to Mbappe. There, that's um, technical dri dribbling. And I would always recommend if you're going to up out the box like that, just press RB and do some technical dribbling. You'll, it'll take you away from defenders quicker than you think. That was technical dribbling there. That was the first goal. Um, yeah, technical dribbling, uh, that's what I use it the most. People technical dribble against me all the time. It's like people like glued their finger to the RB button, replaced their sprint button with RB. Um, I really only use it in those positions. I feel like if I'm, I'm not using it a lot, people don't expect it when they get there. Uh, and it just gives you that wee bit pay, that wee bit space. So we're 2-0 up. So we've got a lead to protect. We are trying to find passing angles. Um, we're just really doing what we can to, to maintain possession. Uh, we're trying to stop him getting the ball too high up the park. Um, so we, we lose the ball there, but Pedri does well to get back. 
and get him, lose the ball, get back, get lose the ball, get back. So I turn back and I recycle. Can dog be a wee pass to La Celso? And he reads me really well there again to get the ball. He gets the ball out to right, and, and uh, she's just so fast and really technical. As is Mertens. Mertens always plays above his card stats. Um, this Akotcha, that was a lovely touch there from Akotcha to take him away from me. Uh, again, he goes for a finesse, and that was a much better angle, and it was on the edge of the box. You know, he could have scored that. Um, corner comes in, we grab it. We're on a counter-attack information, so we get the ball away quickly. But we have to be careful as well. Uh, we get the ball to Fernand Torres. I just don't have the pace to get past his left back, which is a bit annoying. I see this the switch. I mess it up. We're on long ball, so you see the gap here. And this is uh, very worth talking about. You see the gap that gets created between your midfield and your center backs because your left and right back will push up with the long ball command to the halfway line so your two cdms they become a little bit drawn out and you can see you've got winger striker center mid another winger so you've got four up against his four but we're wider we've got four in midfield and we've got two in defense and you've just got to be a little bit careful of that because that can catch you out um especially if they press you really high up like he was doing there with two players it's got to be careful you see we drop back into shape um, very quickly when we lose the ball. And it's just about covering passing lanes. So that gets us to half time. And we get started again in the second half. And well, we're quite fine to the second half there. Why did I go so far forward? There we go. Um, so in the second half, he goes a lot more aggressive. So he's gone to a 4-2-4 formation now. Uh, and he's made at least one change, Banny, he brought Banny on for Petit, so he's, got, he's gone a lot more attack and a lot more creative, which is great, because this is exactly what I wanted to show you. Where I am now is where you'll spend the majority of the end of a game if you're defending a 1-0 or 2-0 lead with this formation. Um, all we're doing is we are covering the passing lanes, stopping him getting easy passes through, and we're trying to restrict him to long bangers, basically. And everybody gets frustrated eventually and hits a long banger. And that, that's what they want to do because they can't pass through you. You've got too many players in the way. And they unless they're like a crazy good skiller where they can skill past you, um, you're you're going to be in a 4-5-1 uh, and you're just going to stop them being able to play through you. And that's all we're trying to do. And here you see he's super high aggressive pressing. I make a really bad pass there. I make a couple of really bad passes in this cycle. Um, but we get back really quickly. We get a wee interception and we get unlucky, but we're, we're not giving him open la area to easily run into. That that was all contested. Here we go again. Long, Not so much a long banger. Centre of the goal, wouldn't really expect that to go in. It's not a high percentage shot. We get the ball down into the, the wing, but we are going to get pressed very quickly. So we come back. We shift the ball wide. Go back to our centre back again. Not the best pass, but we, we get it and then we lose. I hate when that happens and the AI is coming back and they tackle you. But again, we cover it well. We cover the passing lanes. We intercept the ball. That's all I'm trying to do. Ball out wide. I can see the big switch, but I go down the, the gap. And that's, that's what's really important. If you get situations where you can see on the radar that he has pulled a player out of position, which he's done with his fullback, and we can play into that space, we have free reign to run into. Two passes, we're in the box. We don't make anything of it, but that's how quickly as we want to get forward. One or two passes and we want to be in a scoring opportunity. Um, because otherwise we're going to get totally bogged down. He tries a ambitious crossfield pass. We go back to our keeper. We do a little bit, you know, time waste anything. Um, but that's just to, that wasn't meant for him. Like that was meant for my left back. And that's what I was feeling. The passing wasn't working well for me at this point. You know, you know, sometimes when you're in a game and you can just feel feel the the game is is going to let them score or give them a scoring opportunity, like that pass. What? Why is that pass being intercepted? But you know, whatever. We we can't control that. We just have to play what what we've got. And we've got a really nice defensive style in this one. Here, I'm looking for that ball in where because he's drawn a central defender way out of position. We drive and then knock it across goal. That is exactly the type of goal you're going to look to score. 
And with Alvarez being on cut inside, along with your striker, you're going to get space to do that. And typically that will end the game. And that's how it, it ended. So you see, it's very compact. It, it sits deep and it pounces on the counter-attack. It is for if you're playing someone who's significantly better than you or you're seeing out a game. Right, let's get into the tactics. So there you go. There's the, the gameplay. Um, you've seen a few games and you've seen that longer game at the end. Uh, so this is how the team lines up to start the game. And then once we get into custom tactics, we go into the 4 3 3 3. 3 3 3. We're on balanced defensive style with a width of 35 and a depth of 35. We want to maintain a low block on this, so that's where we're going with 35. Uh, our build-up plays long ball and our chance creation is balanced. You could have this on forward runs or direct passing. I just feel it at the moment with the way the AI is, it's, it's causing great runs and I think the high tier players are, are doing really well. So I'm, I'm keeping this on balance at the moment. Our attacking width is 60 and that's purely because we want our wingers to be in the gaps left by people being ultra attacking against us. Players in the box is only three because we just want our front three to be in the box. Corner kicks and free kicks one and one because we don't want to get countered. There's how it sets up, as you know. Um, so starting with our left winger, our left wingers on come back on defense, stay wide, get in behind, get into the box. Now I do that because Fernand Torres is more of a winger to me than he is a striker. So that's why I have him on stay wide, which allows Cap de Villa to be on stay back while attacking and inverted. Um, he'll come back into a left midfield position and if he starts to go forward he will move into a more midfield position. Now you could have them both, you could have him on invert overlap as well. Um, I just prefer it this way around. That means I have Alvarez on comeback on defence, cut inside, get, into the be get in behind and get into the box because I want his runs to be from outside to inside. Whereas Fernand Torres I want to stay wide, I want Alvarez to be getting into the box alongside Mbappe. Um, just because he's more of a striker to me. Mbappe as a striker is on stay central, get him by, come back on defence. Um, just because I want him to be in the box and be the one who's got the opportunities. And you've seen that, he was. He was the one that was getting on, on the end of things. Um, Lo Celso is in my centre mid. He's on get into the box and cover centre only. Now, I have him as a, a high attacking and medium defensive work rated player. If you had a high high, prefer preferably with uh, Relentless, uh, you might see a different player here or if you had someone like Kanti um, or Kondogbia with that medium attacking and high defensive um, you would see a really solid middle three. I think he did it, does a great job. Um, I think the card is brilliant but he is more of an attacking card for me. So if you wanted to put someone in there who's a little more defensive, absolutely. Uh, Kondogbia and Pedri are both on stay back while attacking and cover centre. They are just a block. Those three make up that block you see on around the D of the the box that's where they'll position themselves with Laporte and Rudiger we don't touch them because we don't want them play striker but they're sitting just in behind so you have these five players in the middle of the box and that's what you've seen that's why players were having to take uh, longer shots that's why there was very few shots from inside the box if you can reduce those high percentage chances you've got a much higher chance of keeping your lead or stopping people scoring against you that was my thinking behind this one uh, Navas is on stay back while attacking and overlap and that's just because Alvarez on cut inside. If you had a strike more striker person here, or if you had two wingers, you could have them both on um, stay wide and have both your fullbacks on overlap. That works as well. Um, these three are just about, they need to be in the gaps that are left. So if someone's left back is bombing forward, I want Alvarez in that left back position uh, ready to receive the ball. And you've seen that in the gameplay. We're looking for the gaps that's left because this formation is used when we're a bit backs to the wall. And that's what we want. We want nice opportunities and nice passing opportunities. Um, and remember, you'll go a long time without the ball sometimes when you're using this kind of formation. You just got to be patient. I always say to you, if you're patient around your own box, your opposition will make a mistake eventually. A loose pass, the wrong pass, pass from direct, directly to you. And this formation is set up to then spring and allow you to counterattack really well. So, give it a go. Uh, I like this one alongside my 5 2, two one and a 4 my 4 2 3 1 control. These are all great formations to playing good players um, and play and playing when you're one or two goals ahead. Uh, you do invite more pressure, but I think it makes you a better player when you're doing that. So go for it. Give it a go. Have fun with it and let me know. Tomorrow we'll be looking at a more uh, a, de a, a defensive formation, but more attacking. So the 4 3 3 2, which I love. You know, I love that one. Done so many tactics on that. 
So we'll have a go at that one tomorrow. Catch you guys in a bit. Remember, only play this game while it's fun. Stop being fun, go play something else. Catch you.